Hi everybody, back again, uh, got another free day uh, at last. So uh, today we're gonna try uh, the Black Dog. Uh, really, really nice pattern uh, to be honest. Uh, and, and that's the Fly for the Fly challenge. So uh, I'm gonna frame it later, doing a video of that and then send it out to the winner. So let's begin. Time to start this fly, Black Dog. So uh, I prepared thin cell, uh, sorry, uh, the body and uh, the gut. Now it's time to tie in the flat thin cell. Let's go in for a tag. Oh, sorry, it's slippery. So I need to set some. Wax on, always important. Backwards. Now just gonna make sure I have a bit of wax uh, again. So then when I'm done with the tinsel I'm gonna wrap it backwards and then forward I can tie it in properly. So it's secure. Tinsel in, and it's time for the tail. Hmm. I have misplaced that somewhere. Fantastic! I prepared one. But now it's gone. So, hmm. let's see if we can make one quick. We'll find the old one. Where can I place that one? Most likely in the box. One second. Yes, I think it's here. Fantastic. So I prepared, took it out of the box, prepared it, and put it back. Good stuff. Waxing the thread. Gonna see what I can do with the tail. Put it a bit lower.
Taylor. Yeah. It's gonna leave a bit and tie it in as well. I want it to be secure. This fly is gonna be traveling to um, secure cake. Not sure. I forgot. There we are. Hmm, let me see. Ghosts. In this case, I actually find Swan first. So that's what I'm gonna be using. That you guys can use Ghosts. So, time to pair those. Let's put them on top of each other. Like that. Something like that. So, preparing myself then to tie it in. So, going backwards with the thread. Once again, take, picking this one up. Curve it a bit. And now, red strip. So, cutting the leftovers. We have ostrich shard. Okay. I'm 
at the beach. <clears throat> so going backwards then, very tight in the swan, and your case goes. That look much nicer. I'm pleased with it. Just hang it in a bit. There we are. Looks good. Cutting the leftovers as always. Tying in the last parts there. So now we have a few things to think about. It's two oval tinsel silver. In this case, I'm choosing a medium. Just tying in the tinsel, oof, and the thread just broke. That was interesting. Lucky me, I wax my thread and that's not the issue. Going back again, just removing that from the, my working space, so to say. Trying to flatten it as much as possible. Then I have the yellow silk quite thin so thinking out loud maybe I should take two strands so to say I give it a try because I want to see the yellow
and then you just hang in the silk go with a few centimeters just to make sure it sticks and going backwards again just to see Second silver tinsel. So doing the same, Remo removing some silver there to ensure it's easier and less bulky to tie in. And on this fly, we have Heron. So, I'm just gonna see which strand goes first. One, two, and three. So I'm gonna put the herons over here. it's working no it's not I'm just doing something simple relaxing the thread So I wanted to do something easy for myself and uh, I'm gonna tie the silk backwards, attach the, the hair on and then go back uh, and go to the front and then do the black silk body, the rest of it. Let's see how that turns out. Then I have less fibers from um, from the hair here on to fight with. I use probably Japanese black silk. gloves on but then since I don't want to ruin the shine of the silk
trying to put each wrap backwards as close as possible but sometimes you can see a little bit tread still below well, underneath so uh, what I'm doing is then of course to go uh, back again just to make sure you cover everything with the black silk There we are. Just tying it, securing it. Just a few wraps. Time to tie in the heron. Just gonna remove the, the bit of the fluffy part. Then I just expand the fibers on each side. There we are. So now I know where to tie it in. Just gonna back the thread, of course. this one just tying it in properly get the leftovers there now we have 
plenty of room to work with the rest of the black silk without it interfering. At least not too much. Thread. and plenty of black silk then So you're securing it there, few wraps of thread, just gonna have a look. I'm not really pleased. So I'm gonna unwind that. And pay a bit more attention to the back side. cover a spot back here that I didn't see earlier. I 
that's why I'm winding it on the other way. See, I have more control on this side. Since the other one, I know it's good. Silver tinsel time then. So let's see which one I want to go with first. I would go with this one first. So we're talking about one. Let me see, I want them to be equal. Close enough. Not here on feathers in the way. I 
and get the short gap with black, which I don't want. So I'm gonna twist the silk a little bit. Just to overcome that, because I think it separates itself. it in as well then we have the last silver tinsel <laughs> okay, let's redo that one. Last turn. <laughs> okay.
There we are. So, cutting all this nonsense in the front here. Now it's here on turn. So then he just follow the tin cell forward. here in the front just to get some volume Before I start with the wing, I'm gonna add two cockacules. A bit long, I'm gonna shorten them a bit. So let's match them up. Now looking much better. I'm gonna have volume. Looks good. I want the long wing to fill out everything accordingly.
So we're just gonna twist and turn a bit. That's the middle wing. It's gonna get the pressure from above and go down even more. <coughs> Sorry for that. So now I'm gonna start to build the wing. So it's gonna take a while. So I do it uh, off camera. Now it's time to mount the GC. So I'm gonna add one side at a time. Gonna pair them up and see they equal long. Side is slightly turning. So I'm going to change. Want the geese to sit spot on. Next step is to mount the wing. I'm just gonna varnish a little bit and wait for it to set before doing anything else. Okay, so the scary moment fitting the wing. Since it's quite late today, uh, if I fail this, I need to do another wing and then be able to upload today so
so some arrangement of the feather is required. I kind of failed. Let's see if I can marry it back. Seems like I can rescue it. I don't want to touch it too much. It's about that Yeezy feather on the other side. It's tipping over a bit and interfere. So I'm going to fix that. But that will be off camera. It takes a long time. So I'll leave it like this for now and adding the topping and the sides. As you see it slipped a little bit. Yeah, I can correct that easily. Problem. As you see, it's a little bit twitched.
Okay, so next step. Let me see, so don't miss anything. Uh, some duck on the side. And then two toppings. So I'm moving forward just to ensure uh, I'm able to put the video up. Let's see how I do this. Just trying out and see how it turns out. Not bad. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna do the same on the other side, my side. That didn't turn out that good. So now it's good. Time for the topping then, uh, so starting with the first one, uh, order the wax the thread. So, time to place it. So, just make sure it's center and keep it low and slick there you go first one Second one will be on top of that, so it'll be nice. Just add a little bit of varnish. There we go. Put topping number two already. Let's see how it fits.
thought it was a bit longer. Apparently not. So I might change the order of it. Surprise, surprise. Black dog. I just need to fiddle with it a bit before it uh, becomes as I want it. Just need to sort out that uh, easy feather. Not a big deal. You see, it's a bit twisted, so I'm gonna with the, the tool. So I'm just gonna varnish here, finish off the head, and then varnish and take a picture. So I'll pause it. So that's how you tie a black dog, and um, yeah, uh, try to do that in 50 minutes, um, doing a video. <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty pleased. Uh, I hope you uh, will enjoy the video. Uh, hopefully, I do um, another video during next week. But I'm working for like uh, five, six days in a row now, um, so it's going to be late next week. And most likely, so that's it. Stay safe out there, and uh, see you in the next one.